Hi, this is David Lawrence, and I'm back with the second part of my interview with Ed and Suzell from the House of Ludington in Escanaba, Michigan. That is www.houseofluddington.com. Let's roll it. Okay, let's get into a little um, history of the place. What what can you tell me about the House of Ludington? Um, it was built in 1864. Um, it was built basically as a boarding house. At one point, there was over a hundred rooms that were in the facility itself. Um, through the years, if you look at the front of the building to the west, which would be to the right, um, was the existing structure itself. Um, and I want to say the early part of the 1900s, um, the east east part or east wing was put on. Um, the 50s. Pat Hayes owned the building. Pat did a lot of the, um, a lot of structure. Um, the stone fence around it. Pat had done uh, um, glass elevator. Pat put in. Which is the first glass elevator in the state of Michigan. Wow, elevator. that's neat. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's it's underneath the the main structure itself, or the original structure, is the old. Um, things that they use to hold the floors up um, are actually the are pine logs buried in the sand and, uh, and so there's a lot of it is still um, still here that just added on I mean, that's one thing that I always wish that somebody would have actually um, you know, left blueprints or did blueprints when they when they started things and cut back with them nobody ever did yeah and Ed were youpers you know <laughs> that's, yeah, pretty, that's yeah. pretty sophisticated you know we do do things in the middle of the night, so we don't have to get a pull from that. <laughs> you are absolutely correct, sir. You guys have you guys have obviously uh, acclimated to the um, to the Upper Peninsula quite quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and the other thing I didn't mention either was um, you know the Lane Court had the building for several years, and, and they did a lot of remodeling to the ballroom. We really haven't had to do. Uh, we're getting ready to do something new with the carpets back there, but you know they put. Um, you know, the chandeliers in back there, um, the wood parquet floor. You know, they did a wonderful job with the building, too. Well, that's that's great. It, you, um, The history is amazing. It is one of the older buildings. It, it's got to be one of the older buildings in Escanaba. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's beautiful, and the... Um, uh, the condition that it's in is just, as I said, I, I actually drove by about uh, three weeks ago. And, of course, the pictures online, it, it, it's stunning. It's stunning. And, again, folks, you know, if you're going to, and I don't want to, I don't want to, we have some of these people advertised with us, too, Ed and Sazelle. But if you want a different experience, blow off the Holiday Inn and hit, hit the House of Ludington. It really is, I rem, like I said, I remember going there and just being awed by the um, age of the place. And that was late in the late 60s. God, I did age myself there, didn't I? Yes, yes, you did. <laughs> well, and Ed and I, um, you know, we try to take a couple of rooms, you know, every winter or whatever and, and redo those. And we just recently got done um, updating a couple more rooms and, you know, try to try to keep continually updating it and making it nicer and nicer. And, and it, is, uh, it, is, it is an historic uh, hotel, um, so it's not for everybody. Some people want that back line and that kind of thing in their guest room. They're not going to find that here, but if they want that homey feeling, um, you know, a lot of our travelers are on the road four or five days a week, and they're, they're tired and they want to kind of feel at home. You come down and have a drink, and you get a key to the front door, and you can go exploring, and some people love it, and some people hate it. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm a, I'm a love it type of guy. I'm, I went through my fast food phase, and now I like to sit down at a restaurant where I can get some good home cooking. Yeah, there you go. And that's that's basically what we're talking about. Hey, um, let's pop into this real quickly. Uh, the the paranormal element, and you know, it's 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 funny because I've I in fact I'm going to be speaking at a conference in about a month, and um, one of the I, I got I was on the phone with uh, one of the ladies that will also be speaking down there, and she said, David, she says if anything's over 100 years old, it has a history of its own. Tell me a little about little about. It may be something about the House of Ludington along the paranormal aspect. Well, David, when we first when we first started the renovations, um, you know, it was it was quite common. Uh, just we, in, the, in the one dining room, we had um, three three windows that were that had uh, 
storms in them, and they, they were in such bad shape, and there was vertical blinds on the inside. And when we first opened for business, um, we would come down in the morning, and the and this windows, one of one or two of the windows would be open, and it was just. Suzelle would always, you know, why why do you insist on opening those windows? You know, you hear the vertical blinds. Finally, it got to the point where you know it was it was getting towards the fall, and it's like you know we need to replace those windows anyway. So when we replaced them, we just put solid panes in them, and um, we put had the windows put in, and the couple days had went by. Um, right in the middle of a busy lunch, the lady comes out of the, the woman's bathroom and says, "Oh my goodness, you got a mess in the lady's bathroom." And I said, "What's going on?" And she said, "Well, all three toilets in there are just blowing off like geysers." And I'm thinking, "Oh my, we got to call a plumber. We got oh, this is horrible." And I ran in there, and sure enough, the water was running right out of there. And I ran to the back, and I got a mop. And, and by the time I got back there, the, the geyser had stopped. And so I started mopping it up, and, and, and probably 10 minutes had went by, and I thought, well, let, I'm going to flush one of them and see what happens, and nothing. Flush another one, nothing. Flush all So it was, it was nothing. And, and that, there had been a lot of other things that had happened before that with, with people helping us. Um, one day we were kind of doing a knockoff list for the health inspector who the uh, gentleman and I were uh, cleaning out the ice machine and we had our old hose back there that didn't have a the, the screw end in it so we couldn't put a nozzle on so we just turned the hot water off and tie it around the ladder that was sitting there and uh, uh, Al Swellbuck was, was helping us and, and he was actually inside the ice machine scrubbing it and I was standing there supervising and, and all of a sudden the hose comes unglued off the of the knot and sprayed hot water on we thought it was our two boys and I went running into the kitchen yelling you know, <laughs> and nobody was there um, it you know what's funny Ed is is what you're you're telling me is almost your typical um haunted house story it almost seems inevitably to run around renovations or remodeling and and uh and then it, 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 it depending on what uh, if you did a good job it seems to settle down <laughs> right right and uh, and i think in our discussion um yesterday uh you had commented that you see, it, it think things have settled down well quite a bit quite a bit so i you know it, it's i was trying to think of when the last really strange thing that we've had to go on and it, and it has been a while mm-hmm. um, well we haven't done any major you know construction renovations in a while I mean let's say we're updating guest rooms that kind of thing sure. but I kind of have had to talk to whomever's here at one point and said hey we're not looking to tear the building down we're not looking to you know do it harm we're just looking to restore it and bring it back to the way it was and you know they have it open for business so you know don't do anything bad to us Hi, this is David Brian Lawrence. Stay tuned for more of my interview with uh, Ed and Sazelle from the House of Lettington. In Escanaba, this is Hidden Agenda.